This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so 50 Cent comments on the takeoff situation. Basically saying we've seen so much coverage on this uh, takeoff situation with so many camera angles that we kind of know who did it. We have, we know who's, we at least know who's responsible, the leader of the group that had the other guys around takeoff and Quavo. We know, we know who's responsible. We kind of know, he didn't say this per se, but we know that we know that Jay Prince Jr. was getting into an argument with Quavo and that one of Jay Prince's guy Jay Prince Jr.'s guys took things a bit far. It's funny to see 50 Cent comment on this on uh TV like that. Uh because usually he doesn't comment on things that are uh you know so blatant. Yeah, so that's a that's a lot right there. And I think everybody's kind of pointing the finger one way, and they, I don't know why the police are dragging their feet on. I mean, I know they arrested little Cam for, and that's supposedly a mob types guy, and a lot of people point him to letting the first shot go, but it's not guaranteed yet because the best footage is from the bowling alley, and that's what the cops have now. They probably arrested him to get him off the street. He has no uh, bond, and he goes to court tomorrow. So we'll see what happens with that. It's very easy to track that. <clears throat> um, also, other things are coming out around the Prince family. This was an ex-artist of theirs. Uh, his name was Big Mike. And a lot of people are saying he kind of alludes to in this situation that they tried to paint him as crazy. But he was taking just as much substance as any other artist back then. And uh, they kind of backdoored him. And uh, he had to take a sentence to go to jail. You can't really say they snitched on him. But they said they backdoored him, backstabbed him. And he went to jail. Uh, you, you, never, you never know. I mean, you know, back then there was no social media. So you don't know everything that was going on back then. And then uh, lastly, we got... I guess Sweetie and Cardi B have been taking shots at each other. Let's play this right here. Even when you're a little dirty, it really be the little things. You know, I you know I hang out with a lot of niggas, right? Well, then what's like a common misconception you think that this generation places on us? Um, social media. I feel mm. like a lot of people look happy online and they're not. A lot of Capanese going on. Capanese. Oh, Capanese. <laughs> I like that. A lot of Capanese. Mm -hmm. Okay. And basic hygiene for bitches, it don't be as basic. Trust me, when I be scrolling down on Instagram, I be like, damn, this bitch is so bad. But I heard she's staying. He is. I just want to show you how good I look. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It just don't be coming at you. And a lot of bitches, right? A lot of bitches like to be with a lot of other bitches because... Well, I don't... Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, girls can pick up on that stuff more than a guy can. The little... Little shots. But uh, anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.